<laughs> Listen, man, back in uh, Atlanta, man. State of the home, two sweets, man, checking out. Uh, just feel like making a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys how I'll run it up right quick. So uh, we in Marietta, Georgia, Georgia currently, just outside the Atlanta Metro. As you guys can see, man, the trailer's empty. You gotta go load it up and get back up to DC, man. So stay tuned. Lick number two. Y'all ready? Ooh, watch me run this up, man. Watch me run it up in a day. You guys have a pretty driveway with the Escalade next to the X7. This is a good combination right here. I like it. I like it. Are you guys moving or? Yeah, we're moving. Okay. Are you guys first time living up in DC? No, I mean, we're from there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I live there as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what the National Harbor is? Yeah. Uh, right at the National Harbor. Okay, okay, yeah, right around the corner. You guys are going to Fairfax, right? So you're going where? The Texas area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Excellent, excellent. For 41 miles, continue straight. All right, y'all, last and final stop. Uh, getting our third vehicle right now. My rates aren't crazy good, but they're not bad at all. We're doing about $2,100 over 500 miles, so I'm not mad at that. So we're about to just run up this quick bag in a day going from uh, Georgia to D.C. Not even D.C., from Georgia to uh, Virginia. And we're going from the tippy 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 top of georgia in franklin springs uh to virginia to like warrington virginia area whatever so it's like the middle of virginia but well, not even like the middle it's like northern let's say northern virginia man 500 miles we going from georgia to virginia 500 miles for 2100 man nice and smooth i got a pretty good looking load bro.
Tire, feel my hug, make sure that these are getting hot, tight. This one's a little warm. Hub is cool though. This one's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright. About to keep an eye on that tire right there. It is getting a little bit warm, but it's not too bad. Let's see. Tire's good. Hub's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this one a little hot. It's also getting warm, so this axis. I think the hub should be okay. It's a little warm, but this one hot. This one hot, hot. All right. Let's see what we can do. About Three hours later. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out in Durham, man, at this rinky dink gas station bag quick bag you see that oh man all in a day's work 700 another 700 another 700 none of these are like personal um like direct orders or whatever like my personal customers got these all off the load board you know all through brokers so not the best loads but a quick 2100 dollars i'm gonna run that up over the course of the next nine hours well done over the course of nine hours it's not bad it's not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad for a high school dropout. Well, not really a high school dropout, I was homeschooled. Hey, can I get this and can I get 200? I don't think my pump had a number on it. Diesel pump. Yeah, the cars on it? Yeah. Okay, so you want 200? Yes, ma'am. Never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> Fuck these yeah, gas prices. Crazy. So, fun fact, I don't know if this is real cranberry juice. I usually don't get ocean spray, but I hope so. Because the only thing that I drink is water when I'm on the road. Really in general, but especially on the road, I only drink water and cranberry juice. I allow myself one cranberry juice per trip, per round trip. But then the rest of it is water. It's messy in here right now, so got a little bit of subway. But as you guys see, water. Water, <laughs> water, <laughs> water, water, whole case of water down there, man. So it's all water while we driving. Also, the fact, big dog is vegan. Yeah. While I'm getting gas, quick story time. So I wear many hats, right? So I'm a carrier, obviously, you know, big marathon, but I'm also uh, a broker. I'm also a um, dispatcher. Um, and I also am a dealer. Well, starting to be you know what i'm saying I'm beginning my journey as a dealer right so i'm, I'm going to master all facets of my industry and vertically integrate as best i can right so uh just a little background right but uh you guys will reach out to me and say hey can i work with you and hey can you dispatch for me or hey you know i got a truck and trailer too you know can you 
uh, can we do business together? Woo woo, right? Cool. I fuck with it. I like 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 the energy. I like good energy. Now, however, I uh, got a, one of my clients on his performance shop, big name performance shop, um, and I ship so many cars for him on a daily basis, right? Um, and I had a Hellcat that had to get picked up out of, uh, for a customer of his that had to get picked up out of uh, Louisiana uh, that was going to New Jersey. And I, I found one of you guys <laughs> that been hitting me up. I was like, yo, you want opportunity to work with us? And he been asking for, for a shot. And so I said, hey, man, I got a, um, a Hellcat Challenger coming out of uh, Louisiana going to, New, going to New Jersey. You know, if you guys want to get it for us. He said, cool, I'm going to get it. I think the day he picked it up was like Friday. Right? He said, I'm going to get it Friday, like 9 a.m. So I was like, cool, that works out perfect. Uh, and this we had this conversation on Thursday, last Thursday, right? So last, Friday turns around, 9 a.m. comes. I'm like, yo, where you at? No answers. Not getting nothing, right? 11, 12 comes around like, yo, where you at? Like, when you picking up? Then he's like, uh, I'll be there within the hour. Within the hour turns into, I'll be there at 5. 5 turns into 8 p.m. 8 p.m. turns into 10 p.m. 10 p.m. turns into 2 a.m. And I'm like, dude, like, what's going on? How we go from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m.? And the problem, the big problem with it was that there was no communication. Like, all you got to do is tell me. Just tell me that something's up. Like, don't make me reach out to you for updates. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't like that. That shit's whack. So the original delivery that he had for the uh, challenger was Monday. Right, so he was supposed to pick up uh, Friday and have it delivered by Monday. That's an easy turnaround. It's really like a, a two-day trip. You know what I'm saying? If you're really hustling, if you're doing 700 miles a day, it's really like a two-day trip. But any case, so he's going to drop off Monday, right? Um, so Monday rolls around, doesn't deliver. I'm like, yo, when you delivering? He's like, tomorrow, Tuesday. And mind you, every time that I'm reaching out to him, it's like, damn, that's a lot of gas. Look at that. Look at that. That's $194.39 in gas. That's crazy. But anyways, so each time that I'm trying to find this mother, I'm having to call like 20 times, calling this dispatcher, calling the driver, just making all these calls or whatever, trying to figure out like what's going on, right? So Monday turns into Tuesday without them giving me a heads up. Tuesday turns into Wednesday without them giving me a heads up. Wednesday turns into Thursday, which is today, without giving me a heads up. Thursday turns into Friday, it's tomorrow, without giving me a heads up. And I'm having to like beat their door down to find, figure out what's going on. As of right now, the car still hasn't been delivered. He says he's gonna deliver it this evening, uh, roughly around 10 o'clock. We're gonna see if that even fucking happens, right? And then earlier today, the dispatcher texted me. He's like, I make him nervous. You know what I'm saying? Eh, whatever. But then also he says that, hey, we had problems with our uh, with our dev system. The truck wouldn't do more than five miles per hour. Yachty motherfucking yacht, right? They, they got a late start. They was like, they didn't leave Louisiana on Friday like they wanted, so they didn't end up leaving Louisiana until Monday, which was a scheduled delivery date. You know what I'm saying? But... And, and that's cool, right? I've been doing this for some years. Big marathon, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I get it, things happen. I'm, I'm committed to this industry, as you guys know. But here's the problem. Communication is fucking free. Just tell me. Tell me, hey, Saint, my truck broke. Hey, we're, our trailer broke. Hey, we damaged some shit. What the fuck ever the issue is, man? Just fucking tell me, dog. Don't have me fucking guessing about what's going on with you or having to hunt you down because look at the bigger picture of this. Now I got to tell my customer that there's been a delay every single day. I can't give my customers no hard answers. You know what I'm saying? Now we all just fucking around, you know what I'm saying, guessing and shit because you can't communicate with a motherfucker, man. Excuse all my bad language, man, but the shit just get me tight because I hate bad business, right? Anyways, um, they're going to drop off this car. I'm not going to leave them like a bad review on Central, do none of that whack shit. Um, but they block from me. Like the instant that they drop this car off, I'm blocking their number for me and to call me and, and get another load from me, man. Look, if y'all car, y'all truck broke down, great. Not great, but you know, it is what it is. Things happen. Just tell me. If your trailer breaks, it is what it is. Just tell me. If you damage the car that I trust you to deliver on my behalf, it is what it is. Just tell me. We can conquer all these bridges. I've been doing this for years now. There ain't no mountain that's too high at this point, right? Shit happens. It's life. It's just cars. They just cars. It's it's just a GT500, it's just an X7, it's just a Rocky Ridge F150, man. It's just cars. You know what I'm saying? 
things happen. Just tell me, bro. Communication is free. But now you blocked. And you ain't never going to do business with me again, bro. And understand this, too. The average uh, price for cars that were shipping between New Orleans and New Jersey was like $800 a car, some shit like that, man. I don't think I'm paying these guys like, I think $1,800 on this trip, something like that. Something crazy like that. I pay very fair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I'm not like I'm giving some food per day's price. You know what I'm saying? $2,000 to go from Jersey, from Louisiana to Jersey. That's a fair rate, bro. More than a fair rate. So, but anyways, let me get back on this road, right. man. Bag, quick bag, quick bag, man. Y'all see it? I'm not really much of a Mustang guy, man, but this supercharger sounds crazy, man. I do like it. But yeah, currently at Sheehy Ford in Warrenton, Virginia. About to leave the key. It's like two o'clock in the morning, so I gotta leave the key inside this drop box, man. I'm give them a call tomorrow morning, make sure that everything's cool. Still got two more to deliver. From here, we headed to uh, Tyson, Tyson's Corner of uh, Virginia. And then from Tyson's Corner, headed to Fairfax. And then we are done. Oh shit, look at this. So this is extra sketchy, man. Here goes the fucking box, but they left the door open to it. So everybody keys is right here, wide open. See this? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Everybody. The gang of fucking keys. Gosh, I was like, why would y'all do this? What the hell? I'm gonna throw mine in here. I didn't do it. Close that out. That's crazy. All right, my hot shotters, that's it. My night is over. Ran up a quick bag, man. Down to Atlanta, did about 2,000. In the back of Atlanta, did about 2,000, man. Night's over.